Here is what not to engrave and what materials not to use on your laser engraver. The X-Tool F1 is a fantastic laser engraver. This laser engraver works with all the usual materials and many more, as I show in my last video. In that video I show you all the settings for the different materials and how well it works. So if you've not seen that one already, once you've seen this video, please head over and take a look at that too. Some really great laser engraving inspiration. But in today's video I want to make you aware of some of the dangers of laser engraving and a list of materials not to laser engrave. Many of us receiving a new laser are purchasing one for the very first time and it's super exciting and I know we just want to begin and start laser engraving and testing out every different item possible. But with that we need to understand that we can't laser absolutely everything as with some materials there are dangers involved. The footage of this video is from me experimenting with epoxy resin and is the first of the list of materials to talk about when laser engraving. Always do your research first and only proceed with a project when you have every confidence that no harm can be caused to yourself or others around you. What I filmed here in this project was just me being creative and just deciding new ways to do different things but realising you can't do absolutely everything you set out to do. So in this project I wanted to laser engrave the resin, the epoxy resin, but after filming this and discussing further and receiving comments from some of my lovely subscribers, I realised this was something I should definitely not do and I wanted to alert all of you and make you aware of some of the other materials and dangers when laser engraving. Epoxy resin and other similar materials are materials that should not be lasered because of the potential release of poisonous gases once they are heated and lasered. I went and did my research and as soon as I read that hydrogen cyanide was one of those fumes that could be released, I thought there is absolutely no way I want to be showing you this and so you also need to know the risks involved when lasering epoxy resin. Then reading further there were even more gases that could potentially be released that really don't sound very pleasant at all. Ethane, ethylene, propane and even more so you get the picture too many gases could be released so there are other things that we can laser on our lovely new laser engravers instead of anything that contains resin. Another material I've been really interested in laser engraving is leather and it's okay to laser engrave some leathers. I would have thought eco-friendly leather and organic leather would be mostly fine but leather and artificial leather that contains chromium are an absolute no as well. So please do check and see what the leather contains before you proceed with any laser engraving on your leather. Materials containing carbon fibres polyvinyl chloride, so PVC and also PVB and PTFE which is Teflon. All do not want to be on the laser engraver. Any materials containing any of these that I'm showing on the screen now, you don't want to be lasering these due to the fumes or particles that can be released. Some chemicals that are released are also harmful to the actual machine. With my X-Tool F1 I do have the air purifier but I don't want to solely rely on that as I'm still not 100% sure about those fumes. Some of them still might get released somewhere into my environment. Care should definitely be taken with these other materials, copper, lead, nickel, chromium, cobalt and magnesium. If you'd like any more information about different materials you can go to the Trotec website and they will answer your questions there. They're really useful and really helpful so that's good to know. With the project that you see in front of you here I was absolutely thrilled with the results that I had but after realizing that we really shouldn't be doing this with resin it didn't matter. I painted the resin with acrylic paint and then the laser took off that layer of acrylic paint or actually burnt into it so I wasn't always directly lasering the resin but at the same time that laser was in contact with the resin of course and there's no point in doing any project that's going to put yourself or others in any danger at all. 
and there will be another way I can create these dog bones in an equally as cute a way. And so I still package these up and use them as you see here. I've put the dog tags on some little cards and added a cello wrap. And then I like to add a little label or price tag and I can do this using my Nailco label maker and I can personalise these labels absolutely any way I wish, they're really unique and just take a look, it's all incorporated in this one little box, I can use it from my mobile phone and it speaks for itself really. You can personalise it and make every label completely unique, I love it. Such fun and just like that, so fast. This is a thermal printer so no ink and no toner needed. This machine works by providing heat to the special labels. You can upload images and logos too. As lovely as they are I won't be making any more of these in this way again and I won't be putting my resin underneath my laser again either. When it comes to laser engraving please do do your research and stay safe. What you will see me laser engraving in the future are wood, stone, textile, paper, leather, glass and acrylic. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.